Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can uh, easily strum through a song called Right In Two by Tool. And we're going to end up cabling this on 5th fret, we're going to start on an A minor chord. And the way you play A minor, first finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string on the 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor on our intro, and also on our, kind of on our verses, we're going to go into an F major chord. We play F major. Um, normally this would be a bar. We'll talk about an easy way to play this. But, but normally you do first finger bar across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A on the third fret, the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord. It sounds really, really happy. But if you're just starting out, you could substitute in something called F major seven. We play F major seven. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the steady four strings, that'll get your clear sound with that. And then from the F, we're going to go into a D minor chord. We play D minor. First finger goes to the high E on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of just like the F major seven, that sounds like a D minor chord. That sounds really sad. And then from the D minor, we're going to go into a G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the low E string on the third fret. And third finger goes to the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now the timing through the intro, though, is actually probably the, the coolest part. We, we end up doing a 3-4 meter on the three chords, and then we end up kind of hitting almost like a 2-4 on, 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 the, on, the, on the G at the very end. So one of my favorite strum patterns for a 3-4 is down, down, up, down, up. So if you took the A minor, just try that. You have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now the weird part is on that last G chord, we'd end up doing just a down, down, up. So we tried that through our intro progression. We have A minor with a down, down, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, down, F minor, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, down, G minor, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, down, G minor, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up, G minor, down, down, up, down, F, down, down, up, down, G minor, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up. And we're basically be repeating that until we get to kind of an instrumental break that it ends up kind of almost becoming our chorus later on, where we do A minor, and another A minor, and another A minor, and then we go to the G major. And actually that timing we were just talking about stays exactly the same. So you have A minor with a one, two, three, A minor, one, two, three, A minor, one, two, three, G, one, two, A minor, down, down, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, up. And then from there then we go back into our verse part, back to our chorus part, and then back to our verse again, and then we end up with kind of a verse tag actually at the, the end of our second verse, where we go from an A minor to an F, and then we go to, to a C major chord, and the way we play C major, first finger stays on the B string first fret, second finger goes to D on the second fret, third finger goes to A on the third fret, and if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we end up kind of doing almost like a stop time, kind of doing a big down on the D minor. So on that verse tag, you got kind of down, down, up, down, F, down, down, up, down, C, down, down, up, down, up, big D minor. And then from there, then we go into our bridge part. And our bridge starts on the A minor, kind of working our down, down, up, down, up. But then we go to the F, but it almost feels like a four thing. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a four, four is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you took the F and just try that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, then we go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger goes to the G string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the high on the second fret. And third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D, G, B, and E, that sounds a D major chord. That sounds really, really happy. And on the D, we end up doing that down, down, up, up, down, up as well. So we kind of end up with A minor with down, down, up, down, up. F with a down, down, up, up, down, up. The D with a down, down, up, up, down, up for our bridge part. So we tried that with our strum pattern. We have A minor with down, down, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there we go into kind of a van break on 
on the A minor actually where we kind of just um, end up kind of jamming out on the A minor. And then we end up coming back to our, our verse and then back to our, our bridge part, you know, kind of for, and then going back into kind of a, almost like our chorus part for our outro. Now the weird part is to play along with Tool, instead of starting on an A minor chord, they're actually starting on a D minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you're going to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 5th fret, then now your A minor is really a D minor chord, your F is really a B flat major chord, your D minor is really a G minor chord, your G is really a C major chord, and the C major is really an F major chord, and when we get to it, the D major is really a G major chord. But to take it from the very, very beginning, actually start kind of with our intro progression, where we got kind of the A minor with a down, down, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, D minor, down, down, up, down, F, down, down, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, down, G, down, down, D minor, down, down, up, down, F, down, Instrumental break where we do kind of our chorus progression. We got A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, G down, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, G down, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, G down, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, A minor down, down, up, down, G down, down. From there, then we go back into our verse part. So we're back to our A minor. Down, 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 Again. And then we're back to the A minor down, 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 now one other thing I would think about adding to the song though is bass notes. A lot of times on that first down that you're doing on the chords, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the A minor, you have the A string for your bass. On the F, if you're doing the F major set, you have the D for your bass. If you're doing the bar F major, you'd have the low E string for your bass on that chord. On the D minor, you've got the D string for your bass. On the D major, we end up with later, you've got the D string for the bass. And on the G chord, we have the low E string for your bass. Another way you could kind of incorporate bass notes into the verse, you could do A minor with kind of a bass down, up, down, up, F with a bass down, up, down, up, D minor with a bass down, up, down, up, and then do the G with a bass down, up, which could be kind of a cool thing to do. So try that next verse, that way we'd have A minor with an A bass, D with a bass, D minor with a B bass, G with a low E bass down, up, A minor with an A bass down. In our verse tag, we could just use our scrum pattern uh, with, with just straight up. We have A minor down, down, up, down, F down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, big D minor. Or we could try doing bass notes. And we have A minor with A bass, F with the bass, down, up, down, C with A bass, down, up, down, D minor. And then from there, then we'd be going into our bridge part. So we tried our bridge part with our scrum pattern. We'd have A minor with a down, down, up, down, F down, down, up, up, down, 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 down,
then we begin into kind of an instrumental break where we kind of vamp on A minor and there's this cool little lick that turns up later on where you play open A and open G. vamp around with, on the A minor and kind of work that, you could work that kind of just a 3-4 feel through that, just that down, 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 especially if you're covering it yourself, you can even take a lot of these things and kind of even them out to one strum pattern or another, or you could add in the basses to that, or if you want to, so you, you can kind of keep that 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 idea in mind, which can be very cool too, so you got A minor, A minor, Actually, if you take the flat of your right hand and kind of lay it on top of the saddle, you can almost kind of get it a muted quality into to the strings or into the chord even. So you may want to play around with that too to kind of make that, that kind of an interesting part, you know, especially if you're covering it out. And then from there, then we'll be going back into out of our verse part. So we back to A minor. of how you can strum through right in two by tools. So good luck.